Prius making their own parking spot. Theme continues. What's up, YouTube? So, today's video, I'm doing kind of a DIY test uh, slash does it really work type thing. Um, back in the day, there was, I believe it was Subaru STI or the Evo, one of the two, something like that. They had a water cooled jet that would spray on the intercooler to help cool the air that goes into the engine. Cooler air is more density, which is a bigger combustion, more power. So two years ago, uh, Mighty Car Mod guys, um, they did a DIY kit, very similar to what I'm about to do right now. And when they tested it, they tested it on a day that was raining. So you know, evaporation wasn't really going to happen, and evaporation is how this system works. Uh, water evaporates and it takes the heat away from it. Uh, very similar to how, like, when you sweat, it cools your skin. That's what we're going to apply here, but I'm going to do it on a day that the humidity is about 30, 32%, right around there somewhere. I just checked it, and we're going to see what kind of results we get and see if this is worth doing for your car for track purposes or something like that. So stay tuned. So what I have here is some garden sprinkler piping. This is from an automatic uh, watering system for a garden, it's a little drip line. Uh, I got a section of um, vinyl tubing to act as a reduction in size. So this tube and the vinyl tubing will fit together like so. Using a couple of clamps, we'll cinch down so it's watertight. I got a garden sprayer, and this is just the type where you just pump it, builds pressure that way. And um, one of the little garden sprinkler valves for, uh, does a 180 degree spray. So essentially to start, I took the valve off the end of the garden sprayer here, and then I, took a section of that vinyl tubing and put it on here so that way we can begin our reduction. And I'll clamp these down a little bit. So essentially it goes from this first reduction down to our garden tubing and I'll put a clamp on there so it's watertight and then our garden sprinkler when we get this all put together, and I'll just do it temporary for right now, so we'll have a few leaks. But it's all in here. I've built up pressure already, and then for this spray valve right here, when you pull the lever, as soon as we get the water through, got myself in the face, got the camera too, but it sprays water. And uh, what we're going to do is we will mount this on the front of the car so it sprays that water onto the intercooler. When it sprays on the intercooler, the theory isn't the water is going to cool it off. It's when the, the water evaporates, it's going to remove the heat off the intercooler. And hopefully we'll see some results uh, in reduction of the air, air intake temperature. So you guys always ask uh, what my neighbors think about my whole YouTube career thing. So there's one of my neighbors right there. And he's weird. Yeah. So I've learned to accept it so I don't wait until people go away to start filming. I just do it anyway. So, uh, it, anyways, <laughs> so here we have our little sprinkler setup deal. And let me set you guys down here real quick. So, this has a stand which we'll take off because we don't need that. And we need to figure out how to mount this on the front mount intercooler so the jet can spray in there. So, We got the intercooler there. I was looking at seeing if we can just mount it right there so it has a good spray and use a couple of zip ties to hold it in. And it might look a little weird right now, but this this is just for theory. This isn't anything permanent, so let's see if we can get that zip tied in. Alrighty, so 
like I was saying, it's just a temporary install just to test a theory. Um, by no means am I going to make this permanent on my car, but it's kind of fun just to experiment with things. So I got the end of it zip tied in there so the jet is angled that way to spray in. This will be pulled around to this side. I've already fed this line through the grill and uh, let's get this attached. So there it's just zip tied in, comes out here. We're just going to run this up into the passenger compartment here um, and just make sure that we stay away from moving parts that way we don't end up breaking anything. So um, I don't know if you can see right there, it's away from everything. Blow up valves there, but there's nothing that's spinning or anything that'll cause any issues right there. Okay, the tubing goes up here and just zip tied to these points. It'll come out here and I'll bring it into the passenger compartment right there. Again, just a temporary install for theory. Don't tell me how ricer this is or anything like that or how lame. We're testing a theory here. Now, before I finalize things on the inside for this experiment, just kind of hooked everything up real quick. We already got that band on. I haven't tightened that one, but let's just make sure that this is gonna spray correctly. So I'll get the air out of the line. Oh, forgot, gotta pump it up. I lost all my pressure. So give it a few good pumps here. And let's see if this works. There you go getting a pretty good spray there all the way from the top down to the bottom so we're good to uh, put it together on the inside so we got our tubing clamp put this together and we'll really bury it in there that way we don't get a leak and then we'll tighten down the clamp There you go, nice and snug, but we're not uh, cutting off the flow of water. So we got the bottle secured in there, a little spray lever. And that goes around through the engine compartment up to here. So I've driven around, gotten the car up to temperature. Uh, I'm just letting it idle here just so we can get the air intake temperature up a little bit more. So basically all you need to do is give this guy a little bit of pressure. We got our trigger here. We're ready to go. So uh, I'm going to drive around. I'm going to do my best to let you guys see the screen for the air intake temperature and we will do a couple of tests. We'll do one where we're just cruising, see if it actually works in theory. I'll have to drive around just to get everything dried out again, and then we will do one simulating like if you were at the track or something like that. So I'll just hit the sprayer as we take off from a stop to see if it uh, has any immediate effect. So typically driving around, I'm usually about 10 to 15, which right now we are about 17 degrees over ambient. So temperatures are pretty normal right now. We'll get up to speed. Wait for a little bit of a straightaway here so I can safely do this. So let's hit the spray. Spray's on. Spraying, spraying, spraying. I'm not seeing much of a change here. Now we're starting to get the change. So I've been driving for a few minutes here and 73 degrees for the air intake temperature is kind of the best that I've seen right there, 73, which puts it at five degrees above ambient temperature. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother with a quarter mile or like a zero to 60 run because it takes a few minutes for that to evaporate and the effects to, to really kick in. So I, the theory is there, the science is there, but 
there's a reason why these uh, Subaru STIs or Evos or whoever it was that was carrying uh, uh, that had the uh, water jet spray system why they got rid of it because really the uh, the effects take way too long and you're not going to get any instant gain or instant benefit from it Alrighty, went out and I adjusted the water nozzle, the water jet position to see if I can uh, cover more of the intercooler with it. So here we are at an idle, we're up to 100 degrees. And then I do have water on there already, so. So we're moving now, we're at 90-ish degrees at 68 degrees ambient. So let's get to the straightaway here so I can uh, safely hit the button. Button's on. Spraying, spraying, spraying. Okay, let's see what happens. same results so does this work for uh, does this work for something to where you want to take it to the track and spray your intercooler down before you go and hit the quarter mile don't think so I've driven a lot more than a quarter mile just to see these temperatures drop and we'll probably see it drop below 73 now because if you look at the amb uh, the ambient temperature outside we're down to 65 so we're two degrees lower By the way, we're at 32% humidity. So this, sh this should be evaporating just fine. So there you have it. The improvement right now at 67 degrees outside, 72 is my intake temperature. So that is the best that I've seen so far. So five degrees above ambient. When this car normally runs 10 to 15 degrees above ambient. So are there results? Yes. Are they instantaneous results to where you should have like a switch underneath your gas pedal so when you floor it, you get that instant power? No, not so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys like more of these uh, DIY things, you know, testing theories, stuff along these lines, just let me know in the comments below. If you got an idea, let me know and I will test it out to my, the best of my ability. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Oh, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the little notification button. Peace.